So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to use IBM SSPS modular to perform uh, data mining. So um, let's go to the IBM uh, SPSS modular, uh, double click, and then the program is going to load it into the um, system. And um, it's loading right now, so just uh, waiting for a while. It's gonna take some time because the uh, program gonna load from the server, um, not the local system. So, uh, depend on the uh, transmission speed of the uh, network. All right. So once the program has been loaded into the uh, workspace, we can have the uh, window just pop up right here. Uh, so we have multiple options um, in our uh, uh, demo. We're gonna use how to create a new stream. So just click right there. You then um, click OK, and then we can create a, a new workspace right there. Um, so in order to load the uh, data into the workspace and explore the data, um, first of all, we're going to go into the source. Um, because the data file we want to load this workspace is going to be in Excel uh, format. So we're going to uh, double click on this one and gonna, uh, I, I just appear into the workspace right here. Um, in order to load the data, we're going to double sp uh, click again. Now we can uh, point out to the uh, source of the information we want to load into the workspace. Uh, click right here, and then we can locate into the uh, uh, location where we store the uh, data file. So I'm gonna go into the um, uh, maybe this one. Um, in this example, I'm going to show the Boston housing data file. So double click right there. Um, you can see that the uh, path of the data file. And um, there's uh, a few options right here. Um, the first option right here is to click the uh, first row, have the uh, column names. That's basically just uh, denote the name of the uh, variables of the data set. So we're going to click this one. So we're going to keep reading the first row of the data. Um, this one, you can uh, put the option. Uh, basically, the information is going to be uh, read by index in the range so start from the uh, first non-blank row. Um, before loading the data, we can also perform the preview. So just click right here. You can see uh, what kind of data we have right here. So we're going to open different window. Uh, you can see right here. Um, that class showing um, the first 10 uh, rows of the first 10 records of the data set uh, from 1 to 10. So you have the different variable right here. So basically from here you can see um, to summarize from you have the 15 fields. So basically that's the 15 uh, variables, uh, 10 records. So it's mean a, a 10 uh, rows and information of the data set. Um, we can see some of the variables have the different uh, values right here. Okay, So for example, uh, the uh, CRIM have the uh, uh, values for different records right here and so on. Okay, So uh, this one basically gives you a basic idea what the kind of information you have uh, in the first 10 rows and um, uh, the rest of the information is basically going to be the same. Um, so that's the preview of the data. Um, uh, once you uh, preview and have no problem with this one, just click OK. So now the information is going to be a, uh, loaded into the uh, node right here. So the um, next step we going to um,
the next step we're gonna use the um, type node to um, check what type information what type the information what type the data uh, for different variables in the data set so in order to do that we're gonna uh, click on to the a uh, Uh, fields uh, operation uh, tab right here and we're gonna double click so uh, before doing that we're gonna first of all we select this one and we double click on the uh, node right here so that's gonna automatically uh, load into the workspace and also just get a link directly from the uh, node you selected right here okay so here's the uh, what I mean double click right here so you can see this node gonna be uh, brought into the workspace and also just a direct link from the uh, existing one when we select it um, uh, connect it to the uh, new node you just add it into the workspace okay so we double click into the uh, type node so you can see that have the um, different uh, few of the information gonna be loaded into this one So uh, what kind of information you can observe from here? You can see the field right here just in the in, in the list all kind of a variable in the data set. The measurement right here is just the type of the data. Okay, so the continuous right here is mean a real uh, type right now. Um, be uh, aware that this one um, maybe is not correct corresponding to the data you have. So um, you need to perform some additional uh, data. Uh, verification and maybe you need to manually um, change the type of the data okay we're gonna discuss this one later on but just, just uh, some remark you should keep in mind um, the value right here gonna um, read the value of different variables also indicating the missing that's the in the uh, missing variable uh, a value in the uh, variables um, check and also the rows it can be um, uh, input can be output and both okay we can discuss later on so um we can um, read the data so basically uh, basically the read value right here when you click it's one you can read the uh, data from the um, uh, source node right here and upload and get some uh, summary of the information right here so the value basically get the minimum the maximum so that's the range of the data Okay, we can see right here. That's the range of the data. The minimum value, the maximum value. The minimum, the maximum, and um, so that the read value. Also, we can we uh, have the preview. Uh, this one basically uh, the, the same uh, functionality we uh, uh, just uh, perform at the source node uh, before. Um, so you can see that. Um, Based on this one, you can know that what is the uh, what the range of the data and the missing um, and also uh, what kind of the memory measurement we have. Okay, so um, that's just some uh, uh, typical information, and uh, we can learn a lot uh, by um, exploring and so by checking the uh, the the information uh, uh, through this uh, operation. Right, so just a, a briefly uh, introduction about how to create a node um, or a, a very simple stream uh, using the IBM SS, uh, SPSS. We create a, a source node, we load the information from Excel file and also we check um, the information by adding the uh, type node into the workspace and uh, exploring some uh, uh, preliminary uh, information of the data. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk about uh, more detail how to dealing with uh, some missing data and also changing the type of information as well. Okay, All right, see you in next video.